If your Sony TV keeps losing its Wi-Fi connection, in this video I will help you fix that. We'll go through easy steps to solve Wi-Fi problems on your Sony TV. Alright, let's start by making sure your Sony TV has the latest firmware. Updating the firmware can fix a lot of connectivity issues and improve the performance of your TV. Just grab your remote, press the home button, and scroll down to settings. From there, go to device preferences and look for system update or software update. Click on it, and if there's an update available, follow the on-screen instructions to install it. This simple step can make a big difference. Next, if the Wi-Fi is still acting up, let's do a power cycle of your TV and your networking equipment. Unplug your TV, modem, and router from the power source. It's important to actually pull the plug out to make sure they're completely disconnected. Wait for about one minute before plugging everything back in. This gives your devices time to reset any temporary glitches they might have. After everything is plugged back in, turn on your TV and check if the Wi-Fi connection has improved. Now let's dive deeper into the network settings on your Sony TV. First, grab your remote and press the Settings button. Navigate to Network and Internet, which is where you manage all your network connections. In the Network and Internet menu, look for Advanced Settings or it might directly say IP Control, depending on your model. Make sure this setting is turned on. This simple action can significantly reduce your connection issues, keeping your Wi-Fi stable and reliable, especially if you frequently turn your TV off and on. Choosing the right frequency band for your Wi-Fi can make a big difference in how well your Sony TV connects. Most routers offer two frequency bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The 2.4 GHz band is great if you need a wider coverage area and have to deal with walls and other solid objects. However, it can get crowded since many devices like microwaves and Bluetooth gadgets use this band. On the other hand, the 5 GHz band is faster and less crowded, which makes it perfect for high-definition streaming and gaming, but it has a shorter range. To switch bands, go to your TV's network settings, find the Wi-Fi section, and you'll see options for networks that might be labeled something like network name underscore 2G and network name underscore 5G. Try connecting to both to see which one gives you a better and more stable connection. If you're still having trouble with your Wi-Fi, let's check your Sony TV's date and time settings because if these aren't correct, it can actually mess with your internet connection. To fix this, use your remote to go into the settings menu, then navigate to device preferences and find date and time. Make sure to set it to automatic date and time so it uses the network provided time which keeps everything synced properly. This is a quick fix that can solve some less obvious connectivity issues. Another step you can take is to reevaluate your network setup to make sure everything is configured for the best performance. In your TV's network settings, explore the advanced setup options. Look for things like network status or advanced settings where you can find detailed information about your network. This might include options to manually set up IP addresses or DNS settings if automatic options aren't working well. Sometimes, just switching these from automatic to manual and back again can prompt your system to make a fresh connection, clearing up any lingering issues. If you've tried everything and your Sony TV's Wi-Fi still isn't working right, a factory reset might be the next step. But before you do that, it's really important to back up your settings or write down any specific configurations you have because a factory reset will erase everything and return your TV to its original settings, just like when you first got it. To start the factory reset, grab your remote and press the home button. Scroll down to settings, then go to device preferences. Look for reset or factory data reset. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. This can take a few minutes and your TV might restart several times. After the reset, you'll need to set up your Wi-Fi connection again but this often resolves persistent connectivity issues by giving you a clean slate to work from. I hope these steps have solved your problem. If they did, please let me know in the comments which step worked for you. And if you're still having trouble, don't hesitate to comment. That way, I can help you out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech tricks and tips. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.